is a bit terrible at the moment, to be honest. But I've got, hey ho, long time I see. Well, I've got uh, frame rate right, and I can just have to, I'm gonna have to do the tweaky thing that we used to do with PSVR chair. Um, so that'll be fine. Okay, what are we gonna sculpt first? Um, I need ideas from you guys, but while you're all piling in, and while that's working on that, I'm just going to doodle with my brain. Doodle, 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 doodle. Oopsie. It's working on grid because I have a very specific idea in mind at the moment. Um, I say I have a super specific idea, it's more just. Oh, let me see how that's why I wanted to work on grid. There we go. And then, ta da! And then, prism. That. Oh, come on, play nice with me. There we go. You know you want to play nice. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it like this. Yeah, we're gonna do it like that. Because that is a new layer. And we're just gonna mirror that. And is it playing nice with us? It is playing kind of nice with us. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, turn off grid for the moment. I'm just gonna erase this bit here. We don't need it anymore. Uh, turn off mirror symmetry. We're good there. Um, come out there. We're just gonna move this to the pommel. We're gonna scale it down a bit. I think we may need to upraise that a bit for. Do you know what? As long as it's upright, I don't actually care. So let's just do that and keep it upright. Okay, brilliant. Uh, let's just use uh, select that. Get the gizmo, please. That's the gizmo done. That's the disappearing act. Ah, there's the gizmo. This is why this is still a beta. Oh, never mind. There we go. This is why it's still a beta. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Bring it there. And come in there. Okay. We're going to just merge those. Give it a sec. Just you. Come in there. Come in here. Um, oh, the mirror plane is not the mirror plane I wanted, but that's not a bit drama. Um, I could fix that at the moment, but I'm not going to because my headspace is already in a bit of a... There we go, let's use the single trick. This is where you half press and you can very slowly, you see how it moves the blue dot. So you see where the blue dot is? Half pressing, just come up there like that. Fantastic. How are you guys doing? Could you sculpt a zero-g library environment with a central atrium? Oh, okay. You could definitely do an atrium kind of thing, maybe. Let's finish up the sword while we're at it. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Okay, let's actually do some formal details here. Uh, where's our mirror plane? Is our mirror plane there? Our mirror plane is there. Okay. There are a few ways we could fix this. Um, I am going to be cheeky though and fix it my own little ridiculous way. Uh, the real fix is we need to just make it so that we can readjust the mirror plane. But this is a hack for the moment. There we go. Now there's the mirror plane. Mirror plane is where I want it. And just do this. And oh, grab it. Grab it. Rotate. Why are you not grabbing? Oh, uh, it's that. There we go. Come on. Oh, wait. I have it.
Jennifer, thank you very much. Here we go. Oopsie. There we go. See that? Keep that. I just want to keep that bright because otherwise it's going to make my life a living nightmare. Um, okay, proportions. This is where I do just care about stretching out. I abuse warp with full hardness sometimes to just sort of extrude my bits, but that's not actually how I want to use warp. Mirror planes back on, come in here, and there we go. This is where I want to right. Oh no, is the mirror plane? Do you know what? I might just actually just quickly remake this. Yeah, I'm just going to remake this. Uh, the mirror plane thing is going to upset me otherwise. That's fine. It's super quick to remake. There we go. And come in here. behaving how I want it to now. Okay, fantastic. Um, um, as I say, it has been a minute since I've streamed. I've been very busy, to be honest. But then the other thing that's been happening with me, other than busyness, uh, I'll just do this so I get a nice vertical. Okay, let's get rid of that old handle. We don't really want that lying around anymore. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, a bit smaller. We do still want mirror on. Okay, let's get to working this and getting back to what I actually wanted to do. There we go. So, just want to reduce that there. And then the other thing I really like to do here is just to narrow that in. Make it a bit more interesting. I mean, one of the things we could do is we could like go like full barbarian kind of sword I suppose you know we could go with the the spiky pommel uh, actually let's upres that a bit and then let's um let's just pop that up a bit there we go and then we're just gonna smooth that and then just to get the Edge back. Just love using warp like that. Um, hold on, let's get a smooth tool how I like it. I really like the volumetric smooth. And then let's expect to warp. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Uh, that full design. But if we're gonna go with that, what I wanna do here is I wanna grab, I wanna kinda separate out. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Um Okay. Duplicate this layer. Okay. And then in one version of this layer. Oh wait, turn on the single. Thank you. One version of this layer, I'm going to separate that out, separate that out, okay. And then in this version of this layer, um, separate out that, and we're going to have to turn off mirror 
mirror in a sec because I'm gonna actually I'm gonna mirror the object rather than the layer itself. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna cut that up. And then I'm gonna come in here. Cut that up. Okay, cool. No, nope, not that much. Okay. So then just to get rid of the jitter, I'm gonna just to get rid of uh, just to get rid of that bit of jitter up there. Ever so slightly. Thank you. Okay, so now on this layer here. that this is actually wrapping around. There we go. And then what we'll do, okay, is we will dock that up. As I say, very much, I am a very noob sculptor, but I do, I do really enjoy it. I got into this habit of doing these little 10 minute sketches um, and that's kind of like my comfort area if you will um, just little doodles and sketches but I have slowly been working on improving technique and stuff and developing a library of like methods and ways I do things okay we need to sort of emphasize that room so I'm gonna grab let's even that out there we go grab that how's chat doing by the way not be looking new art program who this <laughs> yes it is uh, the half press is very similar to the uh, precision mode in dreams though it is a little bit different because it works with uh, stat uh, it doesn't work with uh, stroke because obviously in stroke it's pressure but actually I think it's true in dreams as well if I recall the slight differences in dreams you can uh, dreams is obviously like got its full head edit history exposed so you can grab an old edit and adjust it whereas modeler is um, sign distance fields um, so they're both SDF modelers. It's the difference between sign distance functions and fields. So modeler is more um, a grid of blocks that is um, got like SDF information in them, and then we we convert that to polygon soup to render it. To be fair, Dreams converts it to polygon soup as well. Um, Dreams and Unreal and Modeler and a few other apps are basically uh, by Unreal I mean Unreal Nanite a few other apps are like in Polygon Superland now where you don't really think about the polygons anymore who wants to think about polygons when you're doing art right obviously when you finish sculpting and you're exporting if you're working at a low poly model, you're doing lots of animation, or like you're doing phones and stuff, then yeah, you probably still care about uh, polys for a while. But that's further down the pipe. This is more the ideation stage. Sculpting, putting clay down. The other thing I just find really natural in VR is just sort of adjusting my perspective. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's kind of like when you're sketching on paper. Uh, so the other reason I'm keeping this separate is because it means I can take this upper a notch in uh, resolution and that way it'll it'll have um, more of a sharp edge. So watch it out, do this. Nice point and it keeps that point. Um, I'm just giving it a little bit of, oh no, don't tell me, <sighs> okay, good, I had, thank you Anton for saving my butt, 
that's a bit worried there that I had um, turned off. Uh, there we go. Hey, as we wanted. So you see, there, there are two there, and they're uh, mirrored nicely there. Okay. So now we want to get sort of a let's turn the mirror off because we're going to do a spiral pattern around here. We're going to try. And that shakes a little bit off. The tip that Kareem gave me back in the day, which is always adjust your camera when you're working in 3D. Even if you're working on a, a 2D screen, like even with a 2D screen, it's even more important. In 3D, you're sort of naturally like constantly moving around. But having that um, having that mindset of like constantly adjusting your view really helps build the 3Dness up in your head. Okay, so now we want to get sort of a spiral texture around. How do I get a spiral texture? Um, I think the gouge will work. If I go with lazy on the gouge, yeah, I think this. I think this is going to be the way to do it. Ooh, actually. I wonder if I can make a spiral, no, we're going to see if I wonder if I can make a spiral cutter for myself. But what we're going to do is we're going to gouge deeper than we think we need to. Right, this is just to emphasize the sort of spiral wrap pattern we want on this. And we can always, oh, that's a bit too deep. I love this gouge one. Really useful for working in. We're going to smooth this, don't worry. I know it looks super harsh at the moment. Yeah, it's meant to. Oof! Bit of unsteady hand on my part there. I think it's a bit deeper than I wanted it, but it should be all workable. We're going to need a second row. The second row is easier to get in. Okay. Because the second row, we've got a line on either side guiding us. Oh gosh, my unsteady hand there. going to come in with a smooth after this and it'll all get fixed up but before we do that smooth what we're going to do you know help fill in the middle bit and again to be frank a lot of these imperfections that I'm getting with my shaky hand and my imprecision will just become part of the character uh, right go in there Just uh, let's get sort of that make our job easier for ourselves. Yeah, actually, I'm not a huge fan of that because I've got to be aware of the back face. So I'm actually going to just go smaller here. Just want to get some of that couch back filled in. Otherwise, the Otherwise, the smooth operation is not going to do what I want it to do. I don't remember the exact differences between the different smooth ops. There's a few different modes that smooth operates in. Right, so if we go to smooth, uh, right, so smooth. Now this is the default, actually I think the default is what we want, let me just check the other two, yeah that's the one that pulls away, oh yeah that's actually, that's better, that's the one I really want, yeah it works as a surface tool and it defaults as a surface tool but frankly 
I always prefer the volumetric versions of the tools. Just more how my brain thinks, I think. Come in here, I should make that a bit smaller. We don't want to lose all of our work, we don't want to smooth all in the way. Smooth brush is a dangerous tool because it's like the eraser when you're sketching. You can... Okay, some wobbly there, but again, wobbly is fixable. Okay, we definitely need to work on our pommel and such, but we'll, we will get there, we will get there. Um, right, I think we're going to do this as a new layer. Um, because I think that's the only way I'm going to get what I want. So you see how we've got those grooves there. We're going to use those grooves as guides. And we're going to go into the warp tool. And we're going to just try... wrap that around with the warp tool. I know it's a particularly strange way to do things, but in my mind it makes sense. And it feels really nice for me to work on like that. And I'm not going to have this wrap dominate because I still want those grooves to come through. Um, but This is the part, this is why I wanted to do it as a new layer because I was worried about the ends interacting with each other. But don't worry, we, we got it. Okay, come in here. Um, now I'm going to go too far and then I want to pull back. See, I go too far in and pull back. Too far in. You don't know how to far to go until you've gone too far. Here we go. Hey. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, so we need to just flatten this out a bit. This is this is a bit ridiculous. But as I say, the plan is, no. the plan is, once we get this wrap in a bit, no. Okay, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to abuse instance copy for a bit. So you see the link duplicates. The reason why we're going to link the duplicates is because I'm not quite sure how they're going to interact just yet. If I do this... Again, this is more about form and shape. We try to get in here. Um, see, that's the thing I'm most concerned about is the tail of. Okay, brilliant. Okay, we really are losing some of that gouge um, that we worked quite hard to be in. But to be honest, it didn't form us up until this point, so maybe that's not. A, huge drama. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit this, and this is actually going to change all of them. And I'm just going to see how that, that plays out for us. I may unlink them as we get sort of closer into it. 
And at the moment I'm doing this because I feel like I get more mileage quicker. Okay, this bottom one I definitely want to sort of tuck in. So here we are coming. I'm going to break that link. There we go, break it. So now this object is entirely its own thing. You see it hasn't changed the others. I'm going to just shrink this in and I'm going to try bring I'm just going to smooth it a bit okay and then let's come in and erase not everything can be done with warp tool and then smooth in feels that feels barbaric to me. Uh, let's unselect that. Let's group those all up. We could merge them to be honest. It's tempting. I wonder what happens. I wonder what happens if I go into the smooth tool and I do this. Yeah, never mind. Alright. Uh, let's get a decent Pommelin, how's chap doing? Excited for Nerf Mod level. <laughs> uh, yeah, the neural radiance fields and the weird stuff that comes in from there, yeah. Yeah, I get some pretty some pretty wacky stuff's going on in computer graphics these days. It's pretty cool. Um, right. This is a case where I don't think we want volume preserving. We don't want elastic, we want regular, regular flavor. Oh, that's with all the hardness on. Let's turn the hardness way down. That way it doesn't affect anything outside of its immediate. Uh, there we go. That's what we want. Um, Cool. Uh, pommel, 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 pommel. I'm trying to think what's the like the most sort of Conan y evil, you know, barbarian design for the pommel. Because, you know, you've got the like crest and. Ooh, but that's probably. Is that. I was going to say that's probably beyond my artistic skill and then I'm going to say bugger that, <laughs> let's give it a go. Um, what if, uh, yeah, as I say, program art here, so bear with me. Uh, and besides it's a pommel so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but, 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 yeah, one of my big uh, oh, there we go. Sorry, one of my big goals in the next uh, in the next while is actually to make a refresh of uh, one of my VR chat avatars. Put you back into surface mode, please. Uh, shrink you down. Oh wait, that's right. I've got you in the wrong. Got you in the wrong. Uh... There we go. I need that one. I knew it wasn't doing what I wanted it to. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, grab that hardness. Um. 
Oh, bollocks, I'm going to have to... Um, Okay, this is what we do. Uh, we grab that, and while we're holding it, we flip it. We do that. Um, do you know what? Screw it, I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to do a bit of madness very quickly, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Um, right, come in here, harden this way up. Come over there. There we go. Um, oof. Okay, it's just kind of. Well, actually, that turned, maybe maybe that wasn't a terrible idea. Mm, maybe. Um, actually, let's get back to the yeah, box model. There we go. Now, this is meant to just be a bomb. I'm just racking together some basic stuff. Um, do oh, yes, actually, I'm going to set the limitation for myself now. Everything I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to do with a quick box because that way I'm not going to obsess over it too much. Sometimes my brain gets like that, where I'm like, I'm obsessing over some quality that's not actually going to be a big part of whatever piece I'm working on. So what I do is I just set myself some arbitrary limit, I go at it, and I see how that thing goes. Oh, wolf's head. Don't know. I need I need reference art. Uh, everything's easier with reference art. Um, yeah, it's not, okay, that's fine though. That is fine. Okay, come in here, shrink. It's a lesson, right? Everything's a lesson. Uh, go back to that. Can I just do some ear tough stuff? Uh, there we go. Work in there. Uh, what nostril goes somewhere here, right? I know anatomy. Totally. Come in here. Just brang. Okay. Come out there. I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> that snout is totally wrong. Um, Okay, let's go back to the elastic tool. I mean, wolf is more elongated, isn't it? Oh god, this just looks like some hideous monster. Do you know what? Maybe it is a hideous fantasy monster. This this heroic fantasy person killed, right? Right? We can go with that. That's our story. We're sticking to it. Um, come in here. Do that. Do that, do that, and then let's, again, we, we did that limit for ourselves about the, there we go, come in there, give it some, some more qualities in other places, okay, I want to cut into this actually. Okay, cool. And then what we can do is we can grab those two and we can just merge. There we go. There's going to be a seam, but hey, the seam can be smoothed away. <laughs> I know, right? Some people look at this thing and they're like, wait, you can merge sculpts and you can smooth away seams? Yeah, you can. Right. I got completely sidetracked there with that. Um, completely sidetracked, side like way beyond what I meant to do. Uh, okay, come there. Just sort of 
حروف ات ان كلمه حروف شن كلمه Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna emphasize the rim and then sort of set it in. Oof, don't like what I'm doing there with the rim at all. Okay, how about what if we do I'm just playing with the shape here. Yeah? What if we do that? How does that feel? Ah, it doesn't feel hot bad. Now, like, if I was taking this to a final piece, one of the things I would do, by the way, um, oh, minus. If I was taking this, this could be a one sided plate, but what we're going to do is we're going to make it a two sided plate. There we go. Oh no, to get that effect we're going to need uh, gizmo, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to need gizmo, otherwise we're going to... Um, so here we do this. Flip there. Okay, fantastic. Merge. Give it a sec, that's quite high res. Okay. Draw it to a point. I like drawing it to a point. There we go. Um, right. Let's notch the blade a bit. I like it. How's the perspective on a blade? Ah, oh, that blade's not big enough. That blade is not big enough. Hold on. Let's. Before we do any warp scaling and stuff, let's. Let's get a sense of where we want that blade to be. Or a barbarian. Hold on. So if it's two handed. Um, oh, if it's two handed, that's a bit thick. Then again, if you've got. How about. How about. Um. Whoop. Um, I need a bit of a hard core because I don't want to warp the, the the pommel. Oof. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh, we're going to get some uneven warping because we've got multiple layers, so it's a bit harder to resolve. Oh, and it's also because they're linked. How do I feel? feel about that merging let's see how does that feel if that merges Do you know what I'm gonna quickly save because that's quite a big merge give me one sec we can check on there we go come on register thank you we can check on um, sort uh, what's the mesh output like on these? Um, it's something that's still being worked on, but it's um, you can output to USD and FBX and all the different fun time formats. Um, oh, what have I done? I have. Oh, is it still saving? still saving. Ah, there we go. Right. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, yes, so what I was saying was, how do we feel? Is it still saving? Hold on. was done saving. Oh, second door. It is a lot of fun.
I'm not on the clock right now. I am doing this for fun. Okay, well, let's just show you in desktop very quickly while I'm figuring this out. Um, so part of me was thinking about merging those two layers and then doing the... Uh, let's try, let's see how that works. Give it a sec. Oh, that was a fast merge. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a big merge. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking if we move the sword a smidge to the left. There we go. And then we, um, my brain, my brain, brain, brain is thinking that if we do, if we center that on, oh, if we center that on the wolf's head, so we don't get the hardness part isn't warped. Right, and so I'm thinking if we need to make the blade a little bit longer it's a bit of a hack but yeah proportion wise let me go back into vr because it's easier to feel out in vr because sense of scale is better but yeah flipping between the two is not hard this but by, by the two i mean between desktop and vr so, um, though unfortunately i have uh, got a custom faceplate on my oculus and so sometimes the detection of whether or not I'm in VR can be a bit poor and so when I'm taking on and off the headset sometimes it does move around a bunch. Okay so we've got the, the spooky handle, we've got the pommel, so at the scale so it'd be about that scale for me to maybe a bit smaller. That would be the scale that I'd be holding it at. Ah, you see the blade still feels too small. Not not too short. It feels too uh, it feels too uh, actually it does feel too short. I was gonna say not too short. I'm like, no, actually that's that's what it feels like. Feels like it's too short. You know what I think I need to do? Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna drag the blade up, but then I'm gonna shrink the blade down a bit. Not too much. Don't want it to be a dainty blade. Oh, that's too much. That nah, was way too much. Oh, there we go. That feels like a good, a good length for a chopper. Okay, now we don't want this to be mirrored, which is not good. I want to get a nice wedge in there. Just reposition now. Most of the chips, if there are chips, would be towards the base end of the blade. Because the tip would... Uh, the tip would not be able to take as much. And you wouldn't risk... Oh dear. You wouldn't risk powering the tip because the tip would be moving too fast. So it'd be less common to have gnashes there. I do always love the, you know, telling the story to yourself as you work on a piece and just how did it get whatever properties it got. Oh, but too harsh of a... to shrink it down to space out my you notice the brush size is okay the brush size is consistent with my camera movements which can be quite helpful at times but I'm oof okay now that 
That's the blade almost done in. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a man as much distressing as I want to do on that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned that this bit is too far out. Um, like, what happens if we bring it in? That looks more like a two-handed blade. We're going to have to go in here and just wipe that little bit of extremity out. Okay. So now we've got the difficult job of... Okay, first of all, we just move that there. Okay. Now we've got the difficult job of repositioning this. Because I've not been working from reference, um, and because I've been going quite fast and loose on this, that's why I'm having to make excessive use of the oh, excessive use of the uh, warp tool because normally if you're working from reference art or you're a little bit more planned out, so to speak, you know, I'm just going to go full hardness on this, but I'm not going to worry too much about the. Uh, We can re sculpt that bit in a second. There we go. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not too worried about the um, the bar bit because we didn't really detail the bar bit. The guard, that's it. The guard, yeah, the guard. And we still need to do some details there, so I'm so not too stressed about that. Come on there. I really do love the freedom warp gives you. To just sort of adjust your mindset on this stuff, not feel like you're locked in. It's very freeing because you can do quite big, as you've seen, changes to sort of shape and form. Do you know what? I kind of like that. I think it gives it character. I'm going to see if I can recreate it with some other. Um, oh. I want it. I want it hardness it. Okay, it's here. I love this trick where you just grab a warp brush and you scale it in. Just another way of bringing some character into the piece. Oh wow! I've only been doing that on one side. That whole operation needs to be redone. <laughs> so we do want to keep the symmetry of those. Oh no, have I run... I was worried I had run out of undo buffer there. Apparently not. Because the undo buffer is massive. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try that again. Yay, this time. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. I do want a bit of. Here. Go down a bit here. Thank you. I'm trying to find the right balance. Someone's vacuuming at this hour of night? Someone got into some kind of trouble. You know, if someone's vacuuming at this hour of night, there's something. There's a story that's going on. Okay, let's go back into here. The elastic. I generally, unless I'm like trying to manipulate certain things or whatever, I'm generally after the elastic tool more than I am the. Uh, the regular walk to house chat by having what's this good to see good to see the same old names are showing up the same old names are showing up it's always good to know thing as i say i know i haven't streamed much i have been rather busy 
Um, we got it. But now that this is out, I can stream myself sculpting occasionally, which will be fun. Because I did miss doing this. And uh, yeah, this has been where a lot of my brain power has been going. You know, it's like where my my sleep cycles and thinking about certain things um, have been lodged. Is that? Oh, it is. I mean, I don't have to know the exact layer it's in because I can erase across layers, but I like to know what layer it's in because that's just me. Um, right, we were adding character to this bit. So there is a surface brush tool. I haven't used it much yet. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can. Actually, does it work in freehand mode? Kinda. Yeah, it works. It works. Um, huh? Is that not reducing? Oh, it is reducing. Okay. Uh, it's not my favorite. Let's go back to um, B, B. Uh, we want to lose all the hardness. Bring that right down. Yeah, there's some weird combinations with how you play with scale and get this. So for instance, if I grab this here, now I scale out, and I bring it in, it gets a bit of a, a weird little, whereas if I scale up and bring it out, you see the difference in the profile? It's a, it's a subtle difference, but it's one of those little tricks that I like. Okay. Um, we need to seat the blade. I have the perfect tool for seating the blade. Uh, oh, actually, let's do it the other way around. But then let's just flip that like that. Here we go. Um, no, I do definitely want to shrink. There we go. Mm, maybe I don't want to shrink that much. Oh, for this I need single mode. So this is affectionately called the muscle primitive, but you can use it for tentacles and a bunch of other cool stuff. It's one of my favorite primitives. There's a lot you can do with it. I just love this idea of this quite complicated seating of the blade. There we go. Oh, the blade. Oh no, the blade edge is hollow. I have made a slight mistake. Um, I wonder if we can fix that. Do you know what? Okay, we're going to try fix that. I have made a mistake there, but that's okay. We can try fix it. 
Um, oh, I love it. I'm loving it. You know what? I am actually really liking it. Okay, to fix the blade, we need to get an edge in. Either that, or we need to bring the two edges together. Okay, here is my plan. I'm going to use the same trick I used earlier. To do that, I'm going to have to use Gizmo. So this is the same trick I used earlier to create the blade initially, or the other half of the blade, I should say, initially. Um, That's problematic. Okay, first things first, we're gonna because now these are linked, we can come in and we're gonna need upright. We're gonna need to because we've been doing some Oof. You know, this is like when you get a tradesperson in and they, they, they make that whistling sound and like, it's like, you done messed up. Oh dear, no, 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 there we go. It's like, I done messed up. It happens. It happens, especially when you're making something new you've never made before and you're doing it on stream. It's gonna happen. Okay, we're going to find out where this leads us and we're going to learn some new tricks. Okay. The key thing is we don't want any overhang. Fantastic. Right. Now, bring the blade in. Do you know what? Part of me is thinking that if I actually don't join these, will we get a sharp edge? Do you know, maybe we will. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the middle the base. Okay, okay. Okay. Warp tool is going to save us again. And it's going to be by the skin of... That's not where I thought the mirror plane would be. Okay. Uh, it's going to be the skin of our teeth that's going to save us. Do you know what? This is probably going to add a lot of character to the final piece. I'm going to keep on telling myself that. We all need to tell ourselves little lies. Well, in this case, I don't think it's actually a lie. I think it will add character to the piece. And I do think the... Uh... Oof. Yeah, I think I am going to end up merging these. I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether I'm in two minds whether the uh... okay let's do that oof 
It makes that nick look really nasty. Do you know I fought a dragon with this? Remember, they're still linked. So when we do stuff like that, it is going to be mirrored to the other side. It's all okay. Speaking in a very calm voice, so I don't get annoyed with myself right now. Because that's a very real possibility at this point. Oh well. Do you know, one of the first things I remember sculpting in the Dream Speedster and having so much frustration with was, um, I think it was a Balax. Um, and I remember going in to. Oh! <laughs> well, that's an amusing. Oh, that's why an ankle snaps on. That would explain some things. Um, I remember going into work and I remember going, hey, I'm trying to do this thing and it's really frustrating me and I can't get the way I want and da da da. And I remember John just very calmly telling me, well, this is what you got to do and this is how you sculpt the thing you want to sculpt. And it was like a aha moment. Problem solving, man. It's all about problem solving. Okay. Fortunately, we are losing a little bit of detail with all of the warping that I'm doing. But that's fine. That's fine. Getting more confident as I go higher up on the blade. We're going to be merging this. We're going to be cleaning it up. It's all good. Um, I may increase the resolution before I merge. Actually, no, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. Uh, I'm, in two, I'm in two minds about merging. Part of me is like, oh, you should totally merge. And part of me is like, nah, do you want to? Do you need to? Yeah, next time I stream, because I'll stream this again. Uh, next time I stream, I will get the, the chat in headset solution resolved. Because, yeah, for some reason the Oculus desktop overlay thing is not behaving how I want it to behave. Wish. Um, so here we're gonna go. I know it's a bigger warp. It's fine. Just a bigger warp like that's gonna save me a bunch of time. There we go. Blade's got real character now. Character, right? It's like a, it's like a quaint, quaint rental property. Landlord is so keen to tell you how, uh, how quaint this rental is. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's picturesque. Uh, translation is an old Victorian building with terrible plumbing. Uh, no, it's all good. It's all... Okay, we're just going to shrink that tip down. Hey! Yeah, so one of the big projects I do want to take on is updating my VR chat avatar and uh, basically starting with the, the base mesh and the sculpt and, and getting all that done. Um, I've been really looking forward to doing that. That's actually been like in the back of my head, my, my first project for Modeler. Um, it has been in my head for a while. I'm like, well, if I can make VR chat Avatar. Um, yeah, 
it's it's just been in my head of that would be a cool thing to be able to do. Um, just come in here. Yeah, I know, I know. The blade wobble here is intense. We're gonna have to go in with some shapes and sharpen it up, which we will. We will. Don't worry, we. Believe I messed that scene line up. It happens though, it happens. I'm not gonna kick myself about it. We're just gonna work through. Okay. Oh. Problem solving, that's what it's all about. And you, like you, you don't drag to it, you drag halfway to it, and that's much better. Jagged cut just looks really harsh now. It looks like something's really gone to town there on this poor blade. Oh, we're gonna get a whetstone out and we're gonna we're gonna sharpen it. And the thing that I love about working this way is all of our all our mistakes, all of our little side roads, our little uh, trips down dark alleys if you don't undo them you know if you don't like try just remove them entirely with the undo stack which is always an option which is always an option then um they add that little bit of flavor to the file that, that fingerprint you know that like uh, it's like when you watch wallace and gromit and you see the, the little fingerprint as they climb up the stair or uh, go through the thing. It's it's, it's nice. It, it has more uh, more of you in it. More likely to be a unique thing. Even if you're going quite low poly, because um, I mean this isn't in not at the moment, but obviously you can take a high poly mesh and then you know use that to bake down details to the low poly version of the mesh um, so that's quite a, a common way of bringing in the higher poly detail to the final final work so yeah a lot of this can be preserved right here is the test i think if only for my own sanity i'm gonna have to merge these then again, do you know what? At this scale, like if I'm not doing, if I'm not staring at the crack, at this scale, that actually kind of works. Hey! If I was holding it a bit smaller, there we go. If I was holding it, yeah. A bit bigger, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that feels about right. <laughs> the wolf pommel. Oh god, the wolf pommels. <laughs> I didn't even notice because of the um uh hold on let's Is that is that mirror locked? Oh, yeah. There you go, it's no longer derpy. <laughs> it's a little bit derpy there. Um, wolf pommel sword, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Not half bad. Now, we could export that to Painter and start working on that, but I'm not super good at Painter. And it's not 
what I'm feeling right now. So let's let's save that off. Talk to you all as I get a glass of water in me and figure out what we want to sculpt next. How are we doing for time? It is 11 o'clock. So that, that's the longest sculpt I've done in quite some time. That's a good, um, what, 30 minutes or so? Um, my Oculus app auto launch when it first booted. Yeah, that's definitely the case. It's definitely the case. What are people feeling like? like what do people want to see us sculpt? Hmm. What's someone feeling like us sculpting? We can just go in and uh, sculpt something fresh. Uh, I could put a camera on, but I haven't got my cam set up at the moment on this computer. And frankly, you'd just be seeing me in the headset mostly. <laughs> and when I'm not in the headset, I'll have headset face. So. Um, but yeah, let me know if anyone has any ideas what we should sculpt next. Yeah, so if you're looking at export options, uh, FBX, USD, OBJ are the ones that are currently in. How about a hoverboard? Okay. Hoverboard. Um, before I get into that, let's Google hoverboard and look at some images. So I've got some stuff in my head um, so I don't go totally cold. Mm, okay. Uh, we don't want to go. We don't want to go. Um, it's showing me a lot of hoverboards from. Uh, ooh, steampunk hoverboard. I like that. Let's see what, what happens if I Google steampunk hoverboard. Ooh, with propellers. Ooh. Okay, there's an indefinite design elements here that I'm liking yeah the idea of having a propeller at each end and a gas canister for whatever stupid ass reason because you know steampunk okay okay that's uh, I've got some ideas in my head I've got some ideas in my head um so now, obviously, we could work in desktop, by the way. So you don't have to go into VR. I mean, I'm naturally a VR person, but if we want to get our basic shape down before we hop into VR. Um, yeah. There we go. Uh, we can just do this. Okay. So pop that down there. So we want to get the basic shape in there, right? And then we want to shoot, shoot, uh, size. There we go. All right. And then we want to cut in a hole for a propeller there. A hole for a propeller there. So you see, you don't have to hop into VR. We are going to, because I just prefer working in VR. But let's just get some... Oh, wait, I'm... Oh, silly me, I... Uh... Is that not deleting? Oh, God, I'll just delete that there. For some reason, the delete key wasn't working. Um, hop that in there. Okay, so we are going to do that. We're going to go into radial symmetry. I'm just checking that my symmetry point is in the right place. It is. Um, do you know what? Uh, the way to handle this is to put on a radial lock, do a new layer, to 
turn off radial symmetry. Um, pop that there. Come out. Um, oh, is that? That's fine. That's fine. Because uh, what you want to do with this is you want to do this at the. No, it's doing the thing at the wrong layer. Tell you what, let's go into VR and sort this out. Uh, I fell asleep in VR and finally got a powered cable. Ah, sleeping in VR is powerful. Sleeping in VR is very powerful. Uh, people the trailer for Ninja Bell 2? Yes. Yes, very exciting stuff to see a production happening. All right, let's hop into VR again. And we're going to get this propeller right. No, no, falling asleep in VR is like one of those mind-altering experiences. I highly recommend it. It's it's definitely weird. <laughs> it's definitely weird. But it's, uh, it's up there with cool, weird things to do. Right, so what we're going to do... We're going to scope in there. Okay, so now we're going to do radial... Haha, radial symmetry. And we're going to do... Uh, that should be enough. Okay, there we go. So what we're... Why... It, it might look like the crazy thing that we're trying to do here, by the way. But it's not. Um, oh, turn off. The reason we're doing it the way we're doing it is because it's made up of a lot of blades, right? So if we do this, oh, and we do. This. Huh. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Let me just get the basics of this shape fleshed out. So I just have the blade. There we go. Um, now that I have that, I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna turn off symmetry. It was on 13. Lucky number 13. Okay, so now we've got the basic shape of the fan blade in. And come in here. And do that. If you haven't noticed, this is one of my favorite tricks. Go, go in here. Cut there. Okay. So we've got a few holes to fill in and some other bits, which we'll do now. Um, don't stress too much about this detail. Mostly lost to uh, mostly lost to pixelation, if you will. Yeah, a bit of a sharper edge there. Okay, I'm actually going to drop the detail on that layer a smidge. There we go. Because I don't need that much detail. Actually, how much detail do I have? I can lose it. No, I can't lose that detail. Okay, cool. So now, just to make this work, we're going to grab that. Now we just need the the twist of the blade. Oh, I want to turn off that, otherwise this is not going to twist. Oof. Okay, that's rough. Hold on. Awesome. 
This is not twisting how I want it to twist. Ew. Not at all. Okay, what if we do this? And we do... Oh, we can't do non-uniform on that, can we? Enough of that. Okay, we might be able to get away with. Um, well, let's just see if we can lift up the blade by. Oof, we're losing the profile of it. Um, That's about right. Okay. Come in here, do that. Turn the symmetry back on. No! Did it lose its... <sighs> Must have lost its thing. I'll tell you what, we'll just... We'll move it in. Don't worry, the central bit's gonna. Yeah. Now we could keep those as separate layers. Uh, should we keep them as separate layers? Probably should. Okay, let's just do some fine tuning here. Uh, erase. Come in here. Just clean up a bit. Fantastic. And some adjustments. They definitely needs the the fan blade needs widening. That's what that needs. Um whoop, are you gonna save my skin again? Are you gonna save my skin again? Maybe Oof, okay, no, that's rough. Um, what if we just scale it up like that? Scale that up like that. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. Just needs a little bit of TLC in some bits. What's the bottom? Okay, can we, can we smooth that out? We'll put a fan cap on that, don't worry. Actually, because we're going to put a fan cap on that, let's just make our lives easy. And save ourselves some vertices. I mean, it's enough, right? It's enough. So I come out here, put in a... Uh, put in a nice little cap, if you will. Um, it 
you know what? We're gonna put in a cat. Duplicates because I like linked and pop that in. Turn that off. There we go. Okay, okay. So some detailing on this hoverboard. Sorry, I spent a ton of time on the fans there. But you know, that's the thing that makes this uh, steampunk hoverboard hover. So I'm thinking the first detail we want to go here, uh, let's do keep up right, um, is we want to get in that, there we go, that hover step. Um, how do I want to, do you know what, I think I want to mirror, come in, it needs a little bit of coolness to it, so it's just going to, it's going to have a little bit of, a little bit of bend in there, cool, right, um, next thing we need, we need tailpipes on this thing, we definitely need tailpipes on this thing, Thank you. Um, do we care about them being? Ah, oh, hell, why not? Give us a, a solid start to the piece at least. Okay. Do that. Do that. Do this. Now there is a hollow um, tube set that I could have used. I want to do that because I do actually want this solid because I'm going to make it quite small. Oof, do you know what I'm tempted to do now that I say that? I am going to make it quite small, but as long as the aperture. Constraint resize. That's when you hold down the with the trigger while you're doing the quick resize. There we go. Cool. I think it'd be really cool is if these had a bit of a bit of flare, yeah. Okay, I think that needs to go down and scale a bit. Resolution. There we go. That is a destructive process, so you don't want to go over the top with it. It's not like um, Dreams' uh, resolution thing where you can turn it up and put it down as much as you want. Because, okay, we've got to be mindful of where the fans are. Because that would break that. Um, but I think... How many of these do you think we need? Two on each side? I'll do one on a little bit offset. And that should not be a linked copy because we're gonna. Hmm? What did I do wrong there? I did something wrong. Did I turn on Gizmo?
Hmm. With link and link. Link. And then the snaps are on. Um, symmetry? No, symmetry is not on. Why is that even working? Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. As I say, um, it is still a beta. Oh, let's just see if we can move stuff in desktop. I'll get back to it. Mm, yes, no, material, materials and lighting. Um, you can add those in, no probs. Right. Um, yeah, that's, that's working. That's working, no problem. Hmm. Okay. Come in like that. Right, and then we are going to... Uh, are we going to views? Yeah, let's, let's views this again. Um... Come in, come in. Dip, 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 dip. As you can tell, I really like abusing this trickety do of mine. So come in there. Ooh. Um, so as you can see, warp across layers is supported. <laughs> Just adjust, adjust, adjust. Um, do you know what? I think we want to bring it up because I think this is. I think we're going to have to put like a, a little turbo something or other on here, which means these pipes need to lead into something. Yeah, that's the ticket. These pipes need to lead into something. I also think we might need to shrink down the size of these pipes. Let us see. Let us see how we feel. It's all about the feeling. I'm thinking that this goes lower. Yeah, this goes lower. Comes in like this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. We're gonna fix this in VR, don't worry. We're gonna hop back into VR and we're gonna We're gonna get this going. Uh, repetition. Hada! There we go. Ooh, yeah, that's starting to look like a real. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to hop into VR to do the fine tuning on this, uh, baby. I'm gonna just add a new layer in there quickly. And I just wanna get this, this basic idea of like a power unit thing in oh, 
Oh, because you know what? If you're going to have that there, you know what this needs? This needs a foot pedal. This needs a foot pedal is what this needs. So do you... That... There... Uh, there... Uh, let's just go new layer. So this is inside layer. Yep, this definitely needed a foot pedal. Come in here. As I say, I generally do prefer working in VR, uh, but this is just really quick to get our things in. Oh, no, come across here. It's a testament, actually, to how good desktop has gotten that I'm able to do this in desktop without going, oh my god, I need to nip into VR right this second. Okay, um, come out, because you know me, I'm I'm all jazzed about VR, right? I am 100% the VR person, so the fact that I'm... Though, having said that, now to get these pipes where I want to get them. Trick style, dang. Um, I remember trick style roughly, I don't remember what the boards look like. I do not remember what the boards look like. Okay, let's move this a bit more to there. Oof, I'm loving, I'm loving the foot pedal design. I'm really liking where this is going. Okay, let's hop into the eye. Touch that. This is the the tricky bit. Is it's obviously got a now. I think I can get some of this back from the board itself. To be honest, I think some of this can be the board helping us out. Um, not too much because we don't want to get in the the way of the. Propeller? In What's the difference between a propeller and an impeller, actually? I don't know what the difference between those is. And it's like, propeller, the impeller? And I was like, I actually don't know what the difference between those two things is. I know they are different. I'm sure I've heard the difference explained to me before. But honestly, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you the difference. Um, I'm gonna just... I want the sense that these are, you know, sort of structurally welded together, you know, very, very tight, but they're still their own. still their own pipes, they're still separate. It's that it's a tight line I'm trying to walk here. There we go. Right now we need to get the um, the feel of where it's plugging in correct. Symmetry plane in one place, and I don't. Uh, that told me my resolution is too low, so I'm just going to up the resolution there a bit. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, the resolution is always a battle between what your computer can take and you know how what resolution you want to work at because it is a destructive process. Um, obviously, it's it's silly to work at more than what you need um, because it's just not pleasant to have your computer struggle. To be honest, you you might go, oh, I can take a bit of frame rate drop or whatever you can, but you'll find that it makes iteration just slower for you and you again remember we're dealing with um, a grid of voxels we're not dealing with um, implicit functions so it is easier to thank you it is easier to uh, fudge in little bits you know, it's much more like painting a picture. Um, oh, do you know what we need? We need a grill. Yes. Okay, so what are we going to do? There. Like that. Let's tell them where we want to go. Um, I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Copy is currently missing in the build. We have used array copy yet, but we're just gonna do it by hand. It'll be a bit uneven, a bit slower. But we'll get there. Again, I'm not going to stress the absolute precision of that. That way lies madness. That way lies madness. Though I do know to really truly be a cowboy, we need to even that out. Because that is going to be. Uh, There we go, that's good enough. Um, okay. Oh. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, Classic staple of the uh, the genre, if you will. Yeah. 
and you probably want to come in and actually say, you know, you want to do this with textures more than anything, um, probably. But we can get across the idea for now. Go some dials. Oh, we need a some kind of gauge, don't we? We need some kind of gauge. Nick gauge. Don't know why that's in my head. I apologize for that. Um, right. pop. A little bit of shrinky. Every. Oh no, actually, what this needs. Is this needs a capsule and probably end up making this glass or something but uh, because I'm not going to do the glass right now and just do a, a wall meter um, oh that needs to actually probably be a second layer doesn't it doesn't bleed in. There we go. I'm going to group that. What I'd probably do, as I say, is uh, okay, let's receive that into there and then come in here and just shink. Um, what we can actually do is we can make that. We can select that. We can go in here. We can go Boolean. We can go subtract. Apply. And that's actually also just a fun way to uh, done. So we select that. Select that. Go subtract. Apply. Why is that not working? There we go. Tracked. Hmm. It should go red. Hmm. That's weird. That must be a bug. Anyway, one of the tricks I like to do quite often is I like to, like, when I'm embedding something inside of something else, I do the Boolean thing, because you see it, it subtracts that. Um, here, in this case, you'll need to, um, you need to go in and uh, clean up. But the nice thing about this is now that it's seated in, if you go in with a smooth tool, you can actually, if you smooth it, you can actually exaggerate that seating position, if you will. See? Exaggerated it. Now in this exact case we don't want to exaggerate it. Uh, so what we'll just do is we'll come in here. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Whee! It's quite low res so you'll see it all. Uh, let's just turn the single off, thank you. We can just seat that in there. That. And if I just go in with smooth and I smooth that, and I've just seated a bit. A bit better. But up, up, up. Now we could be colouring this, by the way, I just don't want to do that because it's a distraction to me for the, the shapes and stuff. Ooh, I think we, we want to get it 
the texture on this. Again, materials are the correct and proper way if you're doing a more formal, you know, doing this properly, which you know I am going to be doing with my VR chat avatar project because I think that's a good you know take something through the entire pipeline if you will test for me. Um, just going. to round off the base of here we go, it has a bit of foot imprint. So you you're there, then you've got um Yeah, this foot you would have like at a angle. Um, oh, I know what you could do. I know exactly what you could do with this. Um, you could have. Uh, wait, this needs to look right. wouldn't feel right. Um, do that, do that. Thank you. Just want the most narrowest of narrow. There we go. My thinking is what if Remember that trick I was telling you about earlier? When you go and you subtract and you multiply. Done. Let's move. Yeah, okay, cool. We've done the thing. There we go. So now you see that seated there. Okay. And how else can I? Ooh, you know what makes this more steampunk? You know what makes this a lot more steampunk? Is if you go into that, weird, please tell me the radial mirror is in the correct place. It is. That's a joy. So now if we go up to... Oof, like, I know, this is going to... This may overdo the... Pre You know where this is going. You, you've got to know where this is going. Um, can we reduce it down? There. Oh, there we go. There we go. Can we do it like that? Or do we need to make it more obvious? Yeah, let's make it more obvious. Fantastic. And then in the... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it like up here-ish. Okay. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that... Well, actually, I'm going to leave that on. Um, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to duplicate. 
you already know where this is going if you've been following along. Too much to drink. We just want the. I mean, that would actually lock up. That's stupid. That's actually really stupid. Um, can I just undo that? There we go. Redo that. Okay. Oh, I mean, that, that definitely has a. I think we need to. I think we need to emphasize this slightly. I didn't want to overemphasize it, but turn off the snappy. such a strong feature I think we can reduce its height down. There we go. Yes. Um, now obviously there would actually be a like it would have to be a cog in here that it would be turning or whatever. Realistically there'd probably be more space as well. But hey um, turn off symmetry. Um, oh, that's actually a good way. If we turn off symmetry, which we've done, and do that, there we go. Uh, go here. Uh, shunk. We do. Go. Um, oh. I think we're going to have to do this as a new. Yeah, we're going to have to do this as a new layer because we're going to want to do ye old symmetry. Ye old. She says about a technology that's super new and fancy. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Um, okay, great. Boolean operator, subtract, apply, done, fantastic, um, and we just go into here, and we sculpt away. We're going to probably put like a bar or something, cage or something in there. Don't worry, we will make it more, uh, more punky. Okay, more punker. Um, let's go in here again. Signal mode again, and then you see the half 
press. Looks good to me. Again, I'm not going to stress over the exact fine detail because that way, that way lies madness. Um, There we go, that should be good enough. Um, could use a bit more decaling in places, maybe. But... Oh, I, I know what's missing. I know exactly what's missing. Front and back bumpers and grind. Ah, oh, I see. This is where a bit of knowledge in specific areas helps. So, because of my skating knowledge, I know, like, one of the first things, if I actually owned a hoverboard, is I would put stuff where I'm likely to bump into stuff, just because the hoverboard's expensive, and bumper, bumper stuff is cheap. See, that's a bit too much for now, only two. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now we just need to modify this. I think if we do this, we go there. To be honest, the scuffing is probably best done again with material work rather than at this stage, but let's see what we can do. Uh, first we need to turn off single. So we can do one of my favourite tricks, which is to come out here and just do a very quick Oof, too much. much okay but I have another trick for you you've done that and it's too much you just grab this oh hold on you gotta be very careful how you do this clone it ever so slightly grab both and then you merge and when you do that hmm, normally it does a better job but let's do that again To be honest, some of those pretty get gashes are pretty harsh. Merge. Okay. That gash there is just a little bit too much. Let's let's put in some fixer putty. Some sex wax. Referring to the skateboard. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's got a bit more character. That's that's good. Um so now let's assume 
Uh, okay, so that's in for the, the front. And then you're going to want a groin plate down there and a groin plate down there. Okay. Now groin plates get really messed up. I don't want it too long because basically the longer it is, the more expensive it is to replace. Now skateboard, obviously skateboarders grind the trunks and they grind the actual board itself. But because the board itself is expensive, like skates are expensive, you would probably go the route of, now I'm just going to do a little bit of Flippity boopity. There we go. There we go. Put that there. Uh, shit. Right. First things first with this, you're gonna wanna drill a you're gonna drill a hole in there. We're gonna get a screw into that hole, don't worry. We're doing those as separate layers as well because when you export them you keep the seam intact and obviously if you're applying metal to this um, that, that just helps out a bunch. Right, so we're going to do a new layer. Um, With this kind of stuff, you do not need to be pitch perfect, but, ah, oh, do you know what, stop that, I'm going to just do this, this, I'm going to do, I'm going to go bigger than I need, go like, bonk. in reality it'll probably be an Allen key, not a star wrench, but, uh, not a Phillips head, sorry, but a Phillips head is a little bit more recognizable, a little bit cooler, and it's all good. Right, my old favorite trick, just grab the bottom of here, shrink, go, grab the top. Um, we need to fill that in a little bit, let's fill that in, doing this. I don't know about you, but my screw heads, especially on my skates, which actually are Allen keys, always get worn the hell down. I'm just going to do that, 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 there we go. Fan, bloody tastic. And then I'm just going to grab that, do that. Just so you get the feel, because you're not going to see the rest of that uh, screw, because it's inside the thing. Jazz, let the duplicates is on. Is it perfectly even? No, we could have made it perfectly even. That's not what I'm going for. And again, let's grind this up a bit. Okay, that's probably a bit too harsh. Oh, I know how I make this. I was about to say, how do I make this um, thingy? And that's how I make it thingy. Right. 
Iron Plates. Uh, do you know what this needs? Just so it doesn't look as even as the other one. I'm going to just flip uh, like that. I think that is a steampunk hoverboard. What do you guys think? Let's check what you guys think. Mmm. Hey. Most tricked out GP RTX punk. I like it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, whenever people see fans, um, Whenever people see fans, I think with a bit of texture work, we could really take that through to the next. Um, I think we could take that next through to the next. Uh, yeah. Surfing the frame rates. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, those dials are tiny. Actually, looking at it, I probably. I probably should scale those dials up just because of how small the. Um, can I do Boolean here actually? Because the Boolean thing was misbehaving. Um, no, there's something about that that it does not like. Do you know what? If I do. Sorry. Um, I grab those and I grab those and I just group that up. Okay, now is Boolean going to behave? Yeah, there's some reason it does not like. I wonder if it's because it's linked. Unlink it? Boolean. Hey, it was. Okay, that's a bug, and we can get the bug fixed. That's fine. Okay, so now we erase that, sync that in. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Um, can you flip on desktop? You can. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. I actually think keeping the two at different scales is actually a really interesting way of handling that. Okay, so what we do here, do that, apply, done, did it do its thing? No, it didn't. Um, oh, that's interesting, it's at a weird angle. I didn't spot that. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's still... Um, oh, shoot. There we go. Um, hmm. Uh, boolean apply done. Okay, now sync that in. Okay, yeah, I think I think that is actually um, pretty chill. Yeah, I think we're good on that. So yeah, I will um, I will export those out. Um, exporting takes a while. Um, so let's let's just do USDA um, triangles. Eighty percent sure. Go export. Hoverboard export. So you'll see, how exporting is going to take a while, but we're going to wrap up the stream now because it's about midnight. Here. Oh, there we go. Scene exported. Never mind. I thought it would take longer than that. Um, so while we're here, let's get the sword. What? 
Ugh. Um, new scene. Reset the scene. Open. Sword. Open. There we go. Okay, we'll export the sword. And then I can... Uh, triangle's 80%. Yeah, go for it. Sword. I probably won't do it now because I don't want to switch apps while I'm uh, in OBS and I haven't got like hold screens and stuff to put you guys on on this because I haven't really set this all this rig all up. But that's all jazzed. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go through that. But yeah, I'll post I'll post up a, a, a shot of those. But yeah, thanks for thanks for dropping by, folks. I hope you I hope you like what you're seeing of Modeler. I will definitely do a few uh, more streams at other times. I'm going to Germany, I'm going to Stuttgart in Germany next week to FMX, um, so I won't be doing any streams next week unless I just stream from from FMX, but that would be bold. That'd be really bold. Anyway, um, everyone take care of yourself. I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye.